Welcome back everyone. A Central Texas teacher who spent nearly three decades in the classroom and survived is sharing her amazing experiences in a new book. And interestingly enough, she's also married to a member of the Six News family. Susan Stanford's memoir is for any teacher who's asked themselves, how did I get here and what do I do now? Memoir of a Chihuahua Bat. The new book by Susan Stanford is available now and she came to the KCN studios and told me why she wanted to write this book. So I thought the best thing I can do is to tell those outside of education what it means to stand in front of the classroom every day and really do the unthinkable. So that was my first goal. Susan also wanted to honor Mala, who was the main character in the book, and Susan credits her for making her the best version of herself. Mala was also Susan's department chair and mentor, getting Susan through a horrific situation. For me, it was kind of, it was like, the absolute worst two years of my career, but it it forced me to totally rethink teaching and and rethink my whole philosophy. So in the end, it was the best thing that happened to me. As someone who was raised by two school teachers, I could definitely relate to this book and some of Susan's experiences. However, with her being a Spanish teacher, she and Mala were able to reinvent their teaching technique out of necessity. A blackboard, I had no projector, I had nothing but me and my students. And I was also sharing this space with the theater class. So the distractions of the noise and just, you know, whole group instruction, that was out the window. It was just not successful. It was driving me crazy. So, you know, I just went to Mala one day and said, okay, I'm out. I'm out. I can't do this anymore. The walls are falling over. What are we going to do? Due to the environment, the duo took it totally interactive. So we ended up doing like a uh, make a salsa unit and we had like a cooking show unit and it was good because I sort of went to student led small group instruction, which really was just the name was floating out there, but it hadn't really been implemented, especially not in foreign language. And that allowed me, freed me up to go from group to group and not have to address this, this madness that I was dealing with. This book covers a five-year span in the middle of Susan's 29 years of teaching. She definitely has more stories to tell about her entrance into teaching as well as her final years, which were spent at Robinson High School. And as she says, it's been quite a ride. And it was therapeutic, and I really, I really want to be an advocate for those who are still in the classroom. I want to tell their story. And it's been interesting because I thought I was the only one that had a story that crazy. Sadly, it's all over the United States. Teachers are reaching out and go, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you told that story because I experienced something very similar. Memoir of a Chihuahua Bat. Susan's book is available wherever books are sold, and you can buy it in hardback or paperback version or visit her website, www.chihuahuabat.com.